we thought we had flown in for the case and we were going to walk out with all this money. But they did not get any money by suing magician David Copperfield over an onstage trick. Tonight, in a News 3 exclusive, Gavin Cox and his wife are paying the price. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. News 3's Christy Wilcox spoke to the couple in an interview you'll only see here on 3. For the plaintiff, Gavin Cox, and his wife, Min, the jury's decision after years of litigation and nearly two months' trial was a stunning defeat. Gavin Cox, 100%. Totally 100%. While the jury found that MGM and David Copperfield weren't negligent for a backstage fall Gavin claims caused him brain damage, they also found there was not sufficient proof to hold the casino and magician accountable. And that means Gavin Cox is fully liable for his injury. It damaged my optical nerves, so I now have peripheral vision. So I, it causes hallucinations on patent grounds. It was a negligence case. The couple hoped would eventually award them a financial settlement in part to cover medical expenses. Now the Coxes say they have eaten through their savings and sold their home in the UK. The jury thought we had flown in for the case and we were going to walk out with all this money. The jury were not allowed to be told we've been kept hostage in this country for four and a half years. And stop medical treatment for Gavin due to their mounting expenses. My husband's medical is 1.4 million. And if you ask them if one night of volunteering for a magic show was worth it, Min Cox has a deeply personal answer. Nobody knows what's going to happen until it happens. So for the future of safety, don't use audience participants because you are knowingly putting them in danger. Uh, Civil and criminal attorney Paul Pata handles similar lawsuits. The jury obviously looked at the facts and came to a different conclusion. That doesn't mean you shouldn't bring a lawsuit if it's not warranted. But what it means is that litigation is always inherently risky. And, and I think that good attorneys always make sure to explain that to their clients. But the Cox family vows they will fight on. They say an appeal is coming. And based on the jury's partial finding of negligence on the part of MGM and Copperfield, Patty gives us his third party opinion about the mixed message decision. That is a odd contradiction and, and might be the basis for a good appeal. Now, the Coxes say their attorney is working on that appeal, but no word yet when that will be completed. Reporting live, Christy Wilcox, News 3.